killed a few people and buried their bodies in what once was the basement. Did that say like, who are you? Go. 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 Wow, that's f***ed up. What's Thank going on? You. Well, imagine someone, you can't see their face, standing with a cloak, looking down and it's pitch black. I can see the chains. His skin looks a bit funky on his hands. Relax, look at me in the eyes. It's scaring me, stop. <laughs> look at me. Mm. No, you have to look in my eyes. Welcome back, EOR family. The video you are about to watch contains paranormal activity. Please do not attempt what we have done in this video. And if you do, it is at your own risk. As you saw in the preview, the experience that we had was unexpected and truly terrifying. This church has some real dark history and we perform a paranormal investigation in one of the most haunted locations in the east of England. Please watch until the end to see exactly what happened to Alicia and her change in behavior after we connected with the spirit world. This was really shocking for me and everyone that was with us at the church. This is not a joke. I hope you enjoy. Right guys, so we've just arrived at the church ruins. We're about to do a paranormal investigation. Candice is here with me right now and Sam's there. So guys, Candice here is going to tell us a few things about the church before we start the investigation. So, this church, Tivichel St Mary's, allegedly had a priest who used to work here and he wasn't a very nice man. Apparently, allegedly, he killed a few people and buried their bodies in what once was the basement. People around this area have said that they've seen his ghost standing around, like with kind of like chains and the whole robe and whatever. I personally have seen him here but I didn't know the story, so it creeped me out. The other thing is that there's a man around here in, or who haunts this place as well, and he seems to be like a really like light colored, misty object. And apparently in 1952, coming around the bend of this road, there was a car accident and a man got knocked down and yeah, they found his body here. But because of like how less traveled this road was in 1952, no one found him for like a couple of days. So as you can imagine, not mm. very nice but apparently his spirit is supposed to haunt the cemetery as well and you're supposed to see him as like a kind of white misty apparition right guys so these are the ruins we're about to do a paranormal investigation as you heard candace so guys as you heard what candace told you about this place it's crazy it's crazy but as you know candace is medium she sees ghosts um so this could be very very interesting but we've got a lot of equipment with us today so we're gonna do a little investigation and see what happens basically. Someone come and did a paranormal explore here in a group of like 10. He said that he saw that like white misty kind of thing and he freaked out a little bit so he ran back to his group. As they were standing there talking they actually saw the white mist like come up this pathway and that's supposed to be the man you know they got hit by the car. Oh, right. That's crazy. So what are we doing right now? Oh okay so we are going to lift the veil between the dead and the living for the session, which increases the paranormal activity. Okay. Okay. With the ringing of this bell, we lift the veil between heaven and hell. Lifting the veil, lifting the veil, lifting the veil. And now we can start. Right. Well, guys, so we just lifted the veil and we're about to begin the paranormal investigation. We're using the, uh, what's it, what the app is? Necrophonic app. Yeah. Which does what? So, in paranormal research, people use a spirit box, which I'm sure you guys know is a radio that scans through frequencies really quickly and the ghosts can manipulate that. This app allegedly is a word bank where instead of it scanning through frequencies, the ghosts can take pieces or fragments of words and put them together to make a sentence or one word. Yeah. So we're going to give it a go. Anyway. Yeah, let's give it a go, guys. Okay, guys, so this is only the beginning. I cut a lot of it out as we were doing it for about 50 minutes straight. So you will see the parts where we got some answers from the app and other interesting parts. However, once we get near the end of the video, the footage is pretty raw. So you can see exactly what is happening when a spirit appears in front of Candice's eyes. But yeah, listen closely and keep your eyes peeled. So we can hear you. What up? 
I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. It literally said what? Three? Mm-hmm. What was that? What the? If there's anyone here with us, can you please speak through the app? Do you know what that sounded like? Someone saying like, God, and we're in a church. What was that? Yeah, it was like a woman, wasn't it? Yeah. I swear I heard it say like, help me. If there's anybody here with us, anybody who died here, tell us how you died, tell us something about yourself, tell us your name. Hello. Yes. Did that say like, who are you? Go. Go. Go, Go again. Oh no, no. <laughs> no. How did you die? What happened? Did the chain man kill you? What? what the hell was that? I have watched a lot of YouTube channels with this and I have never heard that. That was long. And loud and female. Can you tell us what happened to you? Dead? Dead. Did you hear that? What happened? Oh, You're okay, I think it was the bird. I feel someone breathing again. It wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> we always hear someone breathing. Someone's telling us to go. Yeah, twice. Well, it's weird because it came from literally here. Did you hear that? Animals. No. The animals. Animals. <gasps> the animals. Wait, as in the animals. What? Making a noise. The noise. The animals. Oh. That's insane. I was about to say remember. Wait, that was like remember as well. Do you remember? Do you remember? Yeah, did you tell me to shush? What's your name? Harold? Is your name Harold? No. No, I thought it said like hello. Hello? What? No. What? What was that? I don't know what it said, but it said it was like a whisper over like four words. It was telling us something. Can you say any of our names? Yeah. <laughs> it said Alicia. Did you hear it? No. Did Shut up! Hear no, it didn't. You didn't hear that. It literally said Alicia. Okay, say our name again. Say someone's name again. Please. Yes! Said it said Tom. I didn't hear it. It said Tom. Nah. It did. Oh my God. Did a load of women die here? Oh, that was wow, creepy. Wow, that was, that? that was weird. It was like, yeah. What? No, just making sure the candles are out. <laughs> yeah, it's girls. Did you suffer? Yes. Are you underneath us? Who killed you? That sounded like German, and I think it said my heart. Do you know about the priest? Yes. Nice man. Are you the priest? Is the priest here with us? Do you want us to go? Is there anything you want to tell us? Hello? Who, who's there? What was that? There's a lot of noise coming through at once. 
Should we be worried about being here at night time? Are we in harm's way? Listening. Listening. That was like a young woman's voice. Okay guys, so we're gonna try something different and use these rods. Candice is here gonna explain how they work. Okay, so these are dowsing rods. They've been used for a very, very long time. Originally they would have been made out of wood, something like that. Um, used to find treasures, water sources, minerals, things like that. They date well back to like, you know, the 1800s. Now they're made of copper because copper is a much better energy conductor. People use them for paranormal investigations. So what you would do, as you can see from the side here, they're encased so you can hold them and you can't manipulate the rod but you're supposed to hold them straight ahead of you and get them balanced a little bit like this and then we'll ask a few questions if the rods cross in the middle it's a yes if they remain like this it's a no and then they can point left or right depending okay so is the priest that is alleged to haunt this place here with us now So that's a yes. Okay. Are the bodies that are allegedly in the basement there because of the priest? That's a yes. Oh, we'll show you how these, these work actually as well. Um, as you can see, I'm holding them. Oh, I'm holding them quite straight. In what direction is Alicia standing? There you go. That was quick. Yeah. Okay. What other question should we ask? Which direction is the priest in? Which direction, if any, is the priest in? I'm not sure, but it's kind of going that way. Why is it standing next to me? <laughs> oh, mate. By the candle? No, he's not. Oh my god, imagine. What, you'd be able to see him? Well, he's a ghost, isn't he? Unless it just means, obviously, if when the priest was alive, obviously they would spend a lot of more of their time over there. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe he's just over the wall, watching. That's weird. If there were more than five people murdered and buried in the basement, cross the rods. If there were less than five people buried in the basement, cross the rods. Nothing. If there were more or more than 10 cross the rods. Okay. More than 10. More than 10. That's a whole lot. Are we in harm's way doing this at this church? Cross the rods for yes, keep them open for no. Well, that's not good. <laughs> What's the dog barking? Yeah. We always hear a dog, I swear, wherever we go. There shouldn't be dogs near here, there's nothing wrong. No, there's no house here for a long while. So I am about to walk in a cemetery alone, which gave me a really bad vibe. But what happens after is truly a horrifying experience. This is it, guys. Watch closely. Get out! What just happened? I don't know, but I think I put a moss on the back. I don't think I even caught that. There was literally a massive snap over there. Did you hear me scream? Mate, I think I screamed. What it's the fuck was that? I don't want to stand alone. It was right next to me. Right guys, so I'm going to be walking around the graveyard. 
by myself. I took out EMF meter with me. Right here. Let's see what happens. But yeah, I need to get the light off my face. Oh my god, I just walked into a grave. <laughs> Jesus. Guys, this is weird. Look at all of these graves. It's completely abandoned. It's weird to think that's people actually underneath them. What's this? There's like a little dick. I can hear noises over there. This is this is scary guys. Oh my god, that dog. What's in here? Oh my god, there's like a path. Small graves here. I'm gonna go deep in here in the grass where the graves are. It's actually a little path here. Still nothing on the EMF meter. Guys, that grave over there looks so weird. It's like it's got blood on it. What the hell is this? Guys, look at these graves. They look like they've got blood on them. That's crazy. What was that? No, this place is creeping me out. I can hear stuff walking about. Is there now? No, 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 no. Dead go away. No, I can't do that. Why? Okay. Wait, close what, man? Close the valve. What, man? Look on my arm. <gasps> close the veil. I'm literally like freaking out. Close the veil, close the veil. Where? Oh, my God. Oh, I... I knew... Whoa! <laughs> okay. Up. What's going on? Well, imagine someone who can't see their face standing with a cloak, looking down, and it's pitch black. I can see the chains. His skin looks a bit funky on his hands. That's moving, and there's no wind or breeze. Ooh. Okay, calm down. What's he doing? He's just moving like. Is it going? Or is it coming towards yeah, us? Yeah, 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 yeah. Close the veil, close I the veil. I can't right now. Huh? Yeah, I know. Shh. How did you just say that as well, out loud? What did you say? She said, we're girls. Is that what you said? Yeah. Fuck that. She said, we're girls. Why are you moving away? Because I'm going to just, like, investigate a little bit. Why did you say that? Because she just f***ing said it out loud because he's thumping on the ground with his f***ing fist like he's touching the basement and then she says we're girls. <gasps> the candle nearly went out as well. No. Then. Hmm. He's just like, he won't come like further than like kind of where that middle arch is. That's really odd. 
Is he actually here? Yeah, like literally like there. But it's weird because you know when someone's like pacing, pacing, like there's a wall and they're like a rabbit animal like this. Yeah. He's like this, but he's up and down here. Like he can't cross this line, but he wants to like, I don't know. Why do you look like that? I need to leave now. Why are you just standing there, staring? <laughs> you look like you're being possessed or something. Wait, there's... There's footsteps. There's footsteps on the road. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Yeah. yeah, there's voices as well. Why are you breathing like that? Yeah, I don't she's being weird. You're breathing weird, like you're breathing heavy. There was condensation coming from your breath. Um, yeah, as well. Why are you breathing like that? What? Were you acting really weird? Yeah, she's acting really weird. Like zoned and like, I don't know. Literally, she was standing there just staring when you were over there. And I got it on camera and I was like, what are you doing? Why? And then she looks... <laughs> Wait, this is nah. No, Alicia. You I don't, don't know if she's around. joking. Maybe she's messing about you. Might I don't know if she's around. joking. Do you feel any different? What? Why you went from being like fucking scared to like nothing now? Like oh yeah, cool, everything's chill. Ever since the weird girls statement. <laughs> Where's that man gone? Do you remember saying- Why are you I staring at Candice? Hmm? Do you remember saying, I need you to go now? I need to leave now. What do you mean I need you to go now? Who said that? When? Alicia did. To when? who? She, when she was zoning, staring towards the direction of- What do you mean? She, you said what, you saying that she said to the man, I need you to go now? Mm -hmm. Find the light on Candice? You see? I thought it was behind you or next to you, but I don't know. Might just be a shadow. It could have just been a shadow. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, what? Yeah. yeah I'm like, fine. do you feel I'm okay? Great. Yeah. Are you sure? Are you 100%? Why are you moving away? <laughs> hey? What? <laughs> what is that? What's happening here? Why are you moving away from me? Why are you coming closer to me? Why are you moving away from me? Huh? Do you feel weird? Wait, what's going on? <laughs> you look at me like you're gonna do something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Whoa! Okay, relax, Alicia. That's fine. Sorry, you're no, me. just relax. <laughs> no, just relax. Look at me in the eyes. You're scaring me, stop. <laughs> Look at me. Mm. No, you have to look in my eyes. I don't look in my eyes. Are you fine? Mm. Are you Where sure? is he? Where is he? Stop worrying about that. Where do you think he is? I don't know. But you see he disappeared, yeah? Yeah, so tell me where he is. I don't know. I think you do. I don't know where he is. Hmm. Oh my god, eyes closed. I don't want to see anything. Are you sure you feel fine? Mm -hmm. So why can't you look me in the eyes? Hmm? I don't know. I don't know. Look me in the eyes. I don't want to look in the eyes. I'm closing it.
Oscar. I can't remember what to say. What do you mean, not what to say? What do you mean? I can't remember what to say. Wait, wait. I can't remember what to say. I'm blanking. We have to close the veil. I know, just wait. Just, just let her do it. Yeah, it's just so weird. I can't remember. Give me my phone. I'm going to have to fucking Google it. This is terrible. No, give me my phone. My ear just popped. Doesn't that mean like there's spirits yeah, there's around? Like pressure and shit going on, yeah. Is that good or bad? No, it's like all sorts of shit. Okay. That's weird. Okay. You got it? Yeah. <sighs> the ringing of this bell, we lift the veil back between heaven and hell, and we ask the spirits to leave us now. You cannot come home with us, you cannot attach, and if you have an attachment, you need to leave now. So what just way. happened? Turn the light that way. Okay. I don't know, I feel really weird about it. I feel like this I don't know, like I don't know when the man's gone and it's freaked me out a little bit. I'm so confused what just happened. Well so you can look me in the eye now. You feel different now. Okay. But earlier on you were obviously feeling weird. You thought I was gonna do something to you. You were like convincing yourself I was gonna like attack you or something. <laughs> Look. What, you didn't feel different to what you feel now? No. No way. Tom, back me up on this. I can show you the video. It's all on video. Like, when you watch it back, you are not going to know who the hell that was on there. I'm serious. She's never been like this. <sighs> like something was like affecting you or something. What just happened? I don't know. The only way I can describe it and what I would think would be is obviously when you do stuff like this you run the risk of something attaching to you or affecting you so that's the only thing I can think of and obviously Alicia wouldn't know that that has happened because no she's like been affected by it but I don't know guys what just happened we are ending the video right now Alicia has never acted like this this is the weirdest thing that's happened it's a creepy place. I hope you guys enjoyed.